Hey y'all, how's it going? My name is John and my friends call me Turn Wrenches 85 here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing good so far today. I had a company, uh, King Bowl, and they reached out to me plenty of times before. Uh, they want me to review a scanner here. Um, supposed to be only based for Toyota and Lexus. So they uh, send it out to me and I'm going to try it out and uh, we'll see how it works uh, here. Um, I've already... Um, I'm going to show you guys it right here. I just got it not long ago here. I'm going to open it up. Cut the box to save some time. But uh, here it is right here. It's, uh, it's by C Launch. It's a Sea Reader Elite for supposedly Toyota. So we'll see how that works. There's your functions right there. It's got your trouble codes. you got upgrades, multilingual diagnostic feedback you can do reports they got a mall where you can buy different apps for it i think and then of course the obd scanner there's your uh, specification stuff on the back here as well you guys want to pause the video you guys can there so uh so 2003 2023 one so it just came out so let's see what it came with here on top of my car so you got your scanner right here you got your scanner right here you got your uh, USB-C there I think the help with data or something because these are just plugs in for power so I think this is for like your data to update it or something if you want to update it from your computer as well so this is the machine itself it comes with the instructions well here's your instructions use your manual there for the C reader elite so we'll see uh, how this goes they got one in thinking in a different language as well here is, or no they uh, no, it's a quick start guide too as well they come with you know how to power it up and all that so should be pretty much straightforward so we're going to try it out on my uh, 2001 Toyota Camry here. I do got a check engine light on, so uh, we'll see how good it works. So bring me, uh, I'll bring you guys back in a few seconds, and uh, I'll hook everything up, and uh, and we'll try it out and see what it's like. All right, I got you guys uh, set up inside the car. Well, right here by the car. Go ahead and take this little cover off. I like that. that he gives you that to protect the little prongs. So... We'll uh, plug it in to underneath here. Let's see my USB port. I mean, not my USB. We got that there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, it's already starting to boot up. The radio down. Have the radio on so why we're let's go ahead and get you guys off the the perch tripod here a second there we go let's bring you guys up here i already kind of went fast pace and already went ahead and did all the download updates and all that stuff so we can thumb through this really quick so let's try diagnostic um, let's see if we can do auto detect. I don't know if my car has auto detect. We can try it. Probably not, but we'll see. Something through here. Nope, obviously I don't. Okay, we're going to skip that part then. My vehicle does not support automatic detection. Okay. Okay, well, let's try the Toyota part. Toyota Lexus Diagnostic Software Update. Okay. Let's see if this works. I 
think mine's a 17 pin. It's not a European one, so I did select it. Okay. So no input, no signal output from the diagnostic socket. Recode from check engine lamp. Do you want to inquire trouble code information by enter trouble code numbers? Well, check engine light's not flashing. Huh. That's odd. So it doesn't do that for my car, it looks like. Does it do regular... Does it do regular? Alright, well let's see. Let's try it this way. Get you guys close so you guys can see. There we go. A little bit better where it's not in the dark too much. Let's see what it does. Still waiting. I got something that failed. If I didn't know any better, it almost looks like it doesn't read it for a Toyota. Well, not my Toyota, it looks like. As I thought it would be. Okay, so I got a light on. Four DTCs in this ECU. So let me get this. Let me hit enter. And here, read fault code. Go down to. See, I don't like this because I thought it would work on the Toyota part. But this seems like it's working as a regular scanner. Now, see, 128, 440, 441, 446, 128 again. And then 440 again and 441, 446. I know I got trouble with the temperature. I think it's probably the thermostat probably going bad on here. I probably got to replace it. But what's cool about it is you can hit the part right there where it says code, code search. And look, it does like a Google search for you. Telling you, hey, this is what it means. It says your engine is running cooler than it's supposed than it's supposed to so either I got a bad thermostat or I got a bad temperature sensor it could be either or hmm okay well I mean it works but I just don't like it because it's not working for the Toyota part, like it said. So I'm kind of, you know, a little disappointed. You because you said Toyota. So I'm thinking Toyota Lexus. It means it should work for that, but I guess it doesn't. So, I mean, there's other functions you can do. You can do upgrades to it here. Um... Which I already did, I think, already, so. There, so, it, no, there's no upgradable software at this time, it looks like. So. I don't think. So, no, it doesn't look like it. There's no software update. But anyway, um, I don't think it's working, honestly, because I already did all the updates for it. And I'm still having issues with it where it's not working. So it might work, but this probably doesn't work for my application at Toyota. But you know, you got your data here as well, where you can look at the library, the diagnostic reports, records. You can do images, firmware fix, you know use your manual itself so you can uh, just type in your code right there and look it up that way if you wanted to and of course your diagnostic record and all that so i mean it's pretty handy tool but it's, i think for 
it looks like it just works as a regular OB, OBD2 scanner for 96 and up. So, I think uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's nothing really else you can do with it. I mean, it's, this works as a regular scanner, so don't look like it's going to work for my uh, my application here. So, anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you got your updates here you can get from the mall itself as well. If you guys want to, you know, get you know get more stuff installed on it there. I mean, you pay for them, but they're a little bit cheaper right now on some of the stuff depending on what you get. So, I mean, it, yeah, it might be all good and dandy, but this looks like for my application, it doesn't uh, work. So, uh, I'll give you guys my uh, final thoughts on this uh, scanner here. So, uh, I'll bring you guys back and, uh, uh, in a few seconds. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on this? Well... The only problem is I don't know how I can give you an honest review because it's not working for my vehicle. I thought, you know, when they said if Toyota Lexus, I figured it would work. My car is probably not that advanced with some of the stuff or even though it said older vehicles, but it's not working uh, like it should there. So, I mean, it's a good scan tool. It's just, unfortunately for mine, it's, it's saying for a Toyota, but it's not working for my car. Even though I clicked on Toyota, but it, you saw it, it's saying it's something's not connecting right, which I don't know. I've done all the updates and stuff that needed on there necessary, but it's just not working. So maybe it, it'll work for somebody else, but it, uh, that's got got a Toyota. It's just my car, I guess it it doesn't work, but it just it works as a regular OBD2. But I mean, in that case, you might I just have a regular OBD2 scanner. So um, anyway. Um, that's the the C Reader uh, Launch uh, Elite. If you guys are interested in that, if you guys got that Toyota different from my Camry, uh, maybe a different Camry or a different Toyota model would work on it. It's just unfortunate it doesn't work on my vehicle uh, there. But it works as a regular OBD too. But that's the diagnostic for a Toyota. It, it's not uh, it's not doing it for some reason. But uh, anyway, the link is below the description uh, through Amazon. If you guys want to check it out. Uh, there so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review video uh, here uh, so uh, anyway like share subscribe and keep on turning those wrenches everybody I'll see you guys on the next video y'all take care